The dimly lit study was adorned with ancient tomes and peculiar artifacts. A thunderstorm raged outside, casting eerie shadows across the room. Detective Eliza Marshall stood near the ornate desk, her sharp eyes fixed on the lifeless body of Lord Archibald Sinclair, a wealthy recluse known for his vast collection of rare books. The room was locked from the inside, and the only window was tightly shut. Lord Sinclair lay sprawled on the floor, a look of shock frozen on his face. Beside him was a shattered display case that had once held a priceless, centuries-old manuscript, now conspicuously missing. The cause of death seemed to be a single stab wound to the heart, delivered with surgical precision. Marshall turned to the group of suspects assembled in the hallway. Lady Victoria Sinclair, the estranged wife, Professor Edmund Blackwood, an academic rival, Miss Eleanor Hartley, the secretary, and Mr. Thomas Kane, the enigmatic collector, all exchanged wary glances. Each had a motive and an alibi, or so they claimed. As Marshall delved deeper into the investigation, she discovered a web of secrets. Lord Sinclair had been planning to sell his collection, a move that would have destroyed the livelihoods of those who relied on his financial support. Lady Victoria was drowning in debt, Professor Blackwood feared the loss of his reputation, Miss Hartley had been harboring unrequited love, and Mr. Kane had ties to the criminal underworld. Clues emerged as the storm raged on. A torn piece of cloth caught on the shattered display case, a cryptic note hidden among Lord Sinclair's papers, and a peculiar footprint near the window. Each piece led Marshall down a different path, twisting the narrative in unexpected ways. As the investigation reached its climax, Marshall gathered everyone in the study once more. She revealed a shocking revelation, the manuscript that had been stolen wasn't just any ancient text, it contained a code that led to a hidden treasure worth millions. The murder, she deduced, was not just about revenge or jealousy, it was about greed. With tension thick in the air, Marshall turned to face the suspects. The murderer, she began, her voice steady, is someone who knew about the manuscript's true value. Someone who would do anything to lay their hands on that treasure. Before she could finish, a loud crash of thunder echoed through the room, plunging it into darkness. When the lights flickered back on, Marshall found herself alone in the study. The suspects had vanished, leaving behind a trail of uncertainty and suspicion. Who was the real killer? The estranged wife with a motive to secure her future? The academic rival desperate to protect his reputation? The secretary with an unrequited love? The enigmatic collector with ties to the criminal world? As Detective Marshall stared at the empty room, the storm outside began to subside. The answers lay hidden in the shadows, waiting to be uncovered. So, who do you think committed the murder?